on the mic is a queen so listen to me sing he wants a number three super size on your ring hey guys um welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is alexia and today i did this um pink halo eye for you guys um on my makeup instagram right now i'm doing a rainbow series and this is the next color in my rainbow series and i thought i would film it now that i have a channel um so i just kind of guide you guys on how to do this look and if you want to see how you can get this look too then just keep on watching i'm going to be using the ColourPop pop la la palette it has a bunch of pretty bright pink colors this is the p louise base in the shade rumor number two and i'm going to prime my eyes with this and also like cut my eyebrow out what is it called All right, so I have primed my lid and carved out my eyebrow. So I'm going to start picking colors from the palette. I'm gonna take some translucent powder and put it under my eye. So if I get any fallout, I can just wipe it away. The first color I'm going to take in the palette is the shade Sandbar and I'm just going to basically make the shape of the halo eye that I want. Oh, another important note is that I did not set the P. Louise base because you want it to be tacky so when you put the color on it really sticks to it. So now we have something that looks like this. I'm going to take the shade Poodle to blend out the bright pink. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to pack it on, but I'm gonna pack it on the outer edge of this bright neon pink. So then I'm going to take any fluffy brush um, and I'm going to take the same translucent powder that I used to set my under eyes. I'm just going to set the area above the color that I just put. So I'm setting that base. Um, and this is going to allow the colors that we just put on to blend easier. I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the color Soft Core and I'm going to blend out the edge of the lighter pink or softer pink that we just put on. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with the original brush and the original bright pink color, and I'm going to pack it on in the same spot we did originally, just to reinforce it a little bit, because we did lose some of the bright pigmentation after blending it out. So you just want to pack it on, and then I'm just going to use the blending brush that I was just using and blend it into the lighter pink. I'm gonna take the shade Trove on a small little fluffy blending brush situation. And I'm just going to put this in the outer and inner corners and connect it a little bit in the crease. So then I'm going to go back to the base that I was using earlier and I'm going to cut out the halo section in the center. So what you want to do is take your base on a brush and you want to put some right by your lower or right by your lashes and look up and it'll leave, you can't really see it, but it'll leave a little mark and that's where your natural crease is. So that basically gives you a guideline as to where to draw your halo eye. You can do the same trick for cut creases. So 
So now that we have that on, I'm going to take, I'm gonna go back with the original brush. I'm gonna go with the first neon pink color and I'm just gonna blend the edges of that base with the rest of the eyeshadow. It's time for the center color. So to start out, I'm going to take the color Tickled in this ColourPop palette. So I'm taking this and I'm setting the center of that base. Once again, I'm gonna take a little bit of the neon pink shade and just blend it so it meshes with the color that we just put in the center. I'm gonna add something extra. So I'm gonna take this Milani Hypnotic Lights Holographic Eye Topper. And I'm just going to pat it on top to give it a little extra something something. I'm just going to dust away this powder and all of that fallout just dusts right away. Now it's time to go in for the lower lash line. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the color Sandbar, that neon pink that we keep going back to. And I'm just going to smudge this all on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go with that smallish blending brush that we use to blend out the lighter pink in the beginning. And I'm gonna use the color Soft Core and I'm gonna do the same thing. And then I'm just gonna go in with that small fluffy brush and I'm going to add the darker purpley shade that we use to deepen up the outer corner and I'm gonna run this right really close to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Tickled that we use to set the base in the middle and I'm gonna pop it in my inner corner. Using the Makeup Shack Dubai lashes, they're super pretty, super wispy and separated. I'm just going to do the other eye and I'll be back. I just finished off this look with Max Velvet Teddy. Um, and this is the finished eye look. Um, up close and personal. Don't screenshot my pores. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
please leave a comment telling me what you want to see next or any tips tricks advice whatever you have for filming because i'm low-key struggling right now you know since i'm just starting but um yeah give this video a thumbs up and subscribe comment follow me whatever everything will be left in the description box so thank you for watching and have a great day I just finished off this look with MAC 